Hey, what's going on everybody? Tom from Tom's Randomness. And uh, as you can see, we've got some randomness in front of us. We've got some poultry seasoning. You can use any brand. This stuff here happens to be from, I think, Aldi's. Yeah, you can get this stuff from the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, Kroger's, Walmart, Aldi's, anywhere you want. It's usually about a buck. And it's excellent for what we're making. And what we are making today if you haven't guessed the theme, we got poultry seasoning, chicken broth, chicken, and noodles. So we're making Tom's best chicken noodles. So what you do is you take your chicken. You can get chicken from Walmart, Kroger's, wherever you go to get your chicken. And it's super cheap. Chicken is... I don't know why it's so cheap because I raise chickens and they're expensive to raise. But uh, I think when we did our meat chickens, it probably cost me... Per chicken, eight chickens, 40 pounds a month, to our 28 pounds a month, sorry, to get them to growth for seven months. It, yeah, there's no way. Because now if you, I guess if you raise them on like non-organic stuff, it could be a lot better. This is all natural, so they say, but as soon as you read past it, it says, contains up to 15% chicken broth, salt, natural flavorings etc so anyway that said you can get a single portion of this for a dollar at the dollar tree and that's what we're going to base it off of uh, you need one boneless skinless chicken breast one pack of noodles um, again and then one um, what is that 32 ounce thing of chicken stock and this so one dollar two dollar three dollar four and you have delicious Delicious, delicious, delicious chicken noodle soup. Um, we like to put it over mashed potatoes. You don't have to, but that's, you know, this is a chicken noodles recipe for four bucks. So I'm going to walk you through it. I'm not going to send you through the whole process because it's going to take a long time to make it. But I take the chicken stock broth, broth or stock works, pour it in the pan, put the chicken in the pan, and then cook it until the chicken is done. Just let it cook. I put a, a, a lid over it, if you wonder what that noise is, it would be Violet, who is eating leaves. But uh, anyway, so take that, uh, put the ch chicken stock in the pan, which I'll, I'll do it over there because I don't want to make a mess. Then I liberally dump poultry seasoning. And then you can also use salt, um, pink sea salt at the Dollar Tree is a dollar per pound. Um, uh, coarse ground sea salt, super cheap stuff, easy to make. Probably the, the most important part of this, if I have to say, is getting the chicken cooked first. Um, some people probably cut it up and then cook it. I like to cook it in whole form so that when you get it cooked, you can either peel it apart, like kind of like almost shred it, or you can cube it and it tends to stay together better. Uh, from my experience. So you do that, you get the chicken cooked, and then the last 15 minutes you throw in your noodles. Um, and that's when I would suggest you add the salt if you add salt. And then you've got chicken and noodles. Now, one other ingredient that I tend to like to add. Oh, that's not it. I guess two ingredients, I should say, technically three. Um, oh, I don't know. Well, I'll just tell you, it's celery flakes. You can buy uh, celery. I have no idea where mine is, but it gives it, it gives it a, a, a color. Just a, a little better. It's a little better, I think, when you add the celery. I don't know where I have my celery somewhere or nowhere. But you can add celery um, or onion just to give it more flavor. I like onions. I like the celery, and you can get those, you know, in the spice aisle. So, like I was saying, that's basically it. And then I get a phone call and kind of messed it all the the process up there. But yeah, so. Um, I'm going to take 
these frozen chicken. I'm putting two in here because why not? And then uh, you put those in, you pour your stock right over them. You can use, you know, more expensive stuff. I'm just super cheap and uh, it's still super delicious. So, in my opinion, if you can do one thing for $100 and another thing for $10 and both turn out to be delicious, there's no sense in doing it the $100 way. <laughs> okay, so that's the most important part now and then where all right so the other ingredients like i said celery is a good one salt and pepper is pretty much a, a given but the poultry season here contains thyme sage majorm rosemary black pepper and nutmeg so it has black pepper already in it which i assumed it did but like I said, this is getting a very hearty dose of this stuff. The thyme and the, the rosemary and the majorum really give it a good flavor. And, you know, like I was saying earlier about how the celery, the celery um, flakes make it the appearance. This stuff has that same appearance with the rosemary and the thyme. So um, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And then... I just like onion. Probably not going to put too much in there, but that's basically it. Now cover the pan and wait about an hour and you will have your um, chicken cooked. Then you will add your noodles in after, oh well, I'm sorry, you take the chicken out, add the noodles in. Once you've cut your chicken up, throw it back in, mix it in once the noodles are done. And you have simple, cheap, and delicious chicken and noodles. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.